This is Dr. Peter Lotzikus, and I will be discussing an arthroscopic video clip of one of the more common conditions of the juvenile shoulder joint termed osteochondritis desiccans, or OCD. It is important to note that the immature cartilage does not have a direct blood supply, thus receives all of its energy from the diffusion of the nutrients naturally found in the joint fluid. If the immature cartilage becomes too thick, the nutrients cannot reach the deeper layers of cartilage, which can cause cartilage death. The dead cartilage then separates from the bone, forming a flap of avascular cartilage as seen here. Arthroscopy offers the orthopedic surgeon not only a less invasive way to remove the flap as compared to an open conventional surgery, but provides a magnified view of the entire shoulder joint. This is particularly useful in cases in which the flap has broken away from the bone and floated into another section of the joint which is not visualized or accessible through an open approach. In typical cases in which the flap has not completely separated from the bone, we begin the removal process by elevating the semi-detached flap of cartilage from the humeral head with a probe. Using graspers, the fragment is removed from the joint in either a single large piece or multiple smaller pieces through a small portal. Once the fragment is removed, we can see the unhealthy underlying subcondylar bone. This bone is devascularized and will not heal if left as is. An arthroscopic burr is then used to carefully and precisely remove the dead layers of bone, causing bleeding at the defect of the subchondral bone. The blood will form a clot in the defect. The clot is growth factors which stimulate the production of new cartilage, termed fibrocartilage. This new cartilage is not as good as the original cartilage, termed highland cartilage, but will seal the exposed bone and provide cushion to the joint, making the patient more comfortable.